Hey y'all, this is Cheeks in the Philippines. Today I'm going to show you how we grow shrimp in a, a small swimming pool we bought. Um, if you're in the Philippines, you can get them off of Zada. Or if you're in the States, you can get them off Amazon. But first, I'd like to tell you how I got to the Philippines. I was a cocaine addict for 20 years. And God changed me. He brought me into a relationship with Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was in 2008. Um, I had purchased a ticket to come to the Philippines to go partying and chasing girls, and then God changed me. So I had this ticket, didn't know what to do. So I had a pastor friend, and he knew that there was a orphanage here where I could come and work. So I came here, stayed here for two weeks. It was amazing. Um, before I came to the Philippines, me and some other people would go to the park in uh, Columbia, South Carolina, and we'd give away, <coughs> we'd give away sandwiches and uh, drinks, and the people would complain because we'd give them Coke and not Pepsi. And then I came here to the Philippines, and you give a pencil away, and it's like gold. So, uh, on my way back, I just felt like God wanted me here. And um, I'll tell you more next time about my story, uh, how I, it was a miracle that I got here. Okay, let's look at how to make, how to grow these shrimp. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get this thing put together. Like I said, uh, I purchased mine from Lazada in the Philippines, but anywhere in the world you can get it off Amazon. So I'm going to speed this up, not to bore you to death, and get it put together and get back to you.
Okay, now we got the pool together. We need to add some plants. Um, I like to use a variety of plants. Uh, what the plants do is they give a place for the shrimp to hide. Um, they can make food for the shrimp, and it also gives them a place to breed. And I have these coral rocks. Um, here in the Philippines, we can just get them free out in the ocean, but uh, in other parts of the world, I'm sure you can buy them in your pet shop. But what also gives a place for the shrimp to hide. Guys, I'm back with you. Um, let me show you what you can get from your shrimp pool if you take care of it. What I mean by take care of it, I'll tell you in just a little bit. This is a medium shrimp. Nice size medium shrimp. That's going to take about two and a half months. That's a very nice shrimp. But let me show you this. After about six months, if you take care of your pool, like I said, look at this monster. That thing's about five inches right there just in eating meat. And I mean, it's still tender and juicy. So what I mean about taking care of your pool is change the water every one to five days. Uh, my pool is about six foot by four foot, so we change the water every five days. If you've got a smaller aquarium, I would suggest changing it every one to two days. So th Here's one thing I had to do. I had to put the screen on the top because I got a four-year-old daughter who likes to get in my pool. And recently she got in there and... Um, about 10 of my shrimp went up into the filter system and it killed them. So I put this net on top and it helps keep the flowers out also so and the leaves. So that's the last thing I did. 